Audio Jungle with multimedia data. Multimedia database must increasingly deal with issues related to managing multimedia data as well as traditional data. Commonly, database like Manage Image, Audio, Video, in addition to metadata related to this and alphanumeric information are called multimedia database. When database contain only one image, one audio and one video, they are called image database audio database and video database. Considering the current trends, it is likely that most databases will slowly become multimedia databases. The issue of multimedia database. First issue is five formats. Multimedia is comprised of text, image, graphic, video and others. There is overwhelming number of file representation for these different types of data including TIFF, JPEG, GIF and others. Because of the restrictions on the conversion from one format to another format, the use of the data in a specific format has been limited as well. Second, data availability which is multimedia objects have temporal and spatial aspects that do not exist in more traditional data objects. Therefore, visualization of the results of a multimedia query requires specification of the visualization parameters along the query. Last issue for multimedia database is data storage and retrieval. A multimedia database is the multimedia data being managed. It is for storing and retrieving data more efficiently. Multimedia information such as graphic video has to be managed differently depending on the type of data. However, efficient retrieval of data depends on the database system. In efficiencies of traditional retrieval approaches could result in a demand for teachers to understand techniques that can manipulate the multimedia data. Okay, now we tell you about the challenge of multimedia database. 
from the research I do, there are many challenges in multimedia database. But today, I will tell you three challenges in multimedia database. Okay, the first challenge in multimedia database is teacher technological skills, which is due to the increase in development of multimedia database. Uh, so it is very required to teacher to upgrade their latest knowledge according to advancements in media. Next is the lack of structure. There is structure lack in multimedia database due to the problem uh, in searching and retrieval the data from multimedia database. Okay, the last one is massive volume. Multimedia database need a device that having a high capacity for storage data. Uh, as we know, when we do a database collection, we need a lot of information so that we need the device that having a hash capacity to store the information of data collection. So, when and where is multimedia database used? First of all, it is used in the education field or classroom teaching. Uh, to be more precise, um, multimedia databases can not only be used to help students integrate interrelated content areas, but also make learning process more meaningful. When using multimedia database, students can ask questions, interpret information, find answers, then further foster their um, their knowledge, critical thinking, and construct their knowledge. That is in the context of face-to-face -face learning. As for distance learning or commonly known as e-learning, it can create enormous opportunities for improving the instructional um, process besides leading teachers to the more updated um, version of teaching. Guys, for third uh, applications of multimedia database is a VOD, which is a video on demand. VOD is a programming system which allows users to select and watch or listen to a video or audio content such as a movie, television, television shows whenever they choose, rather than a shadow broadcast time. Consider a video on demand database management system which a repository of large number of movies, client can query the server regarding the available movie. The example of VOD is a flight entertainment and the Netflix. Uh, for the flight entertainment, some airlines offer VOD to the, to the passengers through the MVOD controlled video screen embedded in seatbelt or armrest or offer via a portable media player. And for the uh, Netflix, the user can subscribe a model that requir requires user to pay a monthly fees to access a bundled store sets of content which is mainly movie shows.
Thus, applications of multimedia database is a telemedicine. Okay, telemedicine is the use of telecommunications and information technology to provide to provide clinical health care from a distance. It has been used to overcome distance barrier and to improve an access to a medical service that would often not be constantly available in distant rural communities. Can you imagine if telemedicine has been used at all rural places, it can save life in a critical care and emergency situations. Recently, development in a mobile collaboration technology can reduce the needs for outpatient visits and enable remote prescriptions, frequent and drug administrations of a site. Potentially significant which offer cost of a medical care. Telemedicine can also facilitate a medical education by allowing a workers to observe experts in the diaphragm and share the best practices more easily. So let's see the next video. Check it out. Hi, so when and where is the multimedia? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, the last application of multimedia database is a telemedicine. Telemedicine is the use of telemedicine. Multimedia database. Ida. Panah ni pan.